All right, so I've got a few different mods to review today. I'll go ahead and start with the big one here. So you can see there's a little bar in the bottom left corner with a little flame above it. That is a temperature bar. The white part is the part where you're fine, the blue is cold, the red is hot. You can see there's a flame above it. But if I go to this ice, it'll turn to a snowflake. And if I'm in a neutral spot, which I don't think there's one in here, it would be a big white dot, which I assume you can figure out what the other two mean, but the white dot means that it's not changing at all, basically. So there are a few different ways to make your temperature go different ways. For heat, starting off, you can have different types of light sources, like torches and campfires. I don't think it applies to things like glowstone, though. And they will increase the heat temperature. You can also increase it by wearing leather armor. If you want to know how fast that goes, then you can check the mod page, because it has a little list. For cold, you can have different forms of ice. This is blue ice here, which is the best other than obviously being in like a snow biome or something. But like different forms of ice do different amounts. And also, this can work with mods, assuming the modded biome has its temperature set to what the developer would want it to be. One thing worth noting is there's biomes that naturally increase heat too. Now let's move on to the items for this mod. So you can see we've got a decent bit here. Ignore the ender pearls, that's for later. But let's start with this empty ice box. This is how you craft it. It's not particularly expensive because you're gonna need it. So let's just put this down and normally if you right click, it would fill this. But for some reason it doesn't work with mine. I don't know if it's an issue with the mod or if it's just my install. But I'll show what that looks like. We have the freezing ice box. This is when it adds water on it. And then there's frozen, which is like this. So obviously, when you want it to have it freezing, you want it somewhere cold or else it won't work. In fact, these were actually all frozen at one point, but they melted. So if I were to right click this frozen one, I get a couple pieces of ice. So like say you have a house, you can put this under the floor in order to make it cooler. So we got a bunch of these. I'm just gonna get all the ice I can get because it's gonna be kind of useful later. All right, there we go. I got 36 ice, that's not too bad. Anyway, next time. So we got these golden berries here. Craft it like this, very simple. So what you need these for is to craft this. This is basically what you put in there. And also, if you just look at the heat bar for a minute, if I use this, it cools me down. So I'll just keep these on me. And then there's another thing, the thermometer. Now I'll just go ahead and craft this myself. Actually, I forgot a crafting table. There we go. So let's put these here. Redstone in the middle, exactly on top, and bam. Now I have two for some reason. But if you put this on the offhand, you can see there's a number there. This shows your exact temperature. Is it necessary? No. Is it still kind of useful? Yes. So I'm gonna get these ender pearls because I'm gonna need them in a little here. I'll go ahead and keep this on me, I guess. So next, we have two different mods. I'm gonna start with a smaller one. Let me get all these lava buckets. So this is actually two mods right here. And I wasn't gonna do both of these, but I decided that they work well together, so I went with it. First one, if I just open this hopper and put a lava bucket in it, you can see lava comes straight out. The second, you can see when this lava touches the sand, it actually turns it into glass. Pretty nice. Oh crap, ah! Oh crap, uh, I'm gonna have to stop that. Hold on, let me get a water bucket. Oh crap, I burnt to death. Uh, oh crap, stupid son, get out of here. Come on, close the door. All right, thank God. All right, let me just go in here now. We got an issue. <laughs> Oh, come on. All right, I'm gonna have to cool down here. Getting a little warm. All right, so let me just, all right, so let me just try to put a water bucket in here. This should work. Basically, if I drop this in here, see it places water. Same thing function with lava. If I drop, well, let me just, anyway, uh, if I drop this in here, bam. Yeah, so you'd actually make a limited obsidian generator based on how many lava buckets you have in there. If I just take these out, put a bunch in here, destroy this, it makes another one, but it obviously drains the bucket. 
pretty useful. So real quick, I'm gonna show this glass mod off one more time. I wanna try one more thing. I don't know if this will work. Will it place powdered snow? No, not surprised, honestly. Anyway, let me just put this all away. So next mod, now that that painting is out of the way. This adds battle axes. These are like regular axes taken to the extreme. Here's how you would craft them. Obviously replace the diamonds with whatever respective materials, say for netherite, which is made like other netherite tools. So for stats, wooden great axe has 9 damage, 0.7 attack speed. Stone has 10 damage, 0.7 attack speed. Iron has 11 attack damage, 0.7. Gold has 9 damage. Diamond has 12. Netherite has 13. I'm gonna keep this on me because this is gonna be important later. All right, so now that we've done that, we gotta get to the nether after I pick up the lava buckets here. So let me just get one of these powdered snow. Let's hope I can actually make this. Ah, dang it. All right, I made it. Now I've got some stuff in here, some battle gear you could say. It's not not excessive at all. This will be for later, but let me just get it out. All right, I'm just gonna have to get moving here. I'll arrange my inventory when we get there. Let me actually get my sword on me so that I can defend myself. Oh crap. Ugh. Stupid gas. Run, 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 run. I gotta get out of here, guys. Oh crap, come on. All right, run, go, 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 go. Can't do this. I'm not dealing with this stuff. Why is there so many of these guys on here? Now I'm overheating. This is really bad. There's the portal. I just gotta get there and I should be good. All right, my temperature is not changing at least. That's good. Let me just get out of here. All right, here we are. Dive into the water. I gotta cool down. And it's night, which is not good. Probably should have brought a bed with me. But then again, I packed that chest completely full. Here, let me just make this a little easier for myself. I think I'm good now. First thing is I had a little test here. I put this around some ice to see if it would freeze. And it, it didn't. I'm not surprised, honestly, but whatever. I've still got these for cooling down. And I've got one more little contraption I want to show off. So I actually made a makeshift machine here for making glass. So like if I were to put that there. Bam. Bam. And bam. You can see it makes some glass, which is definitely going to be useful. Oh crap, the, the freaking dock is on fire. This, this video is not going great, is it? Come on. All right, I stopped the fire before it got too bad. I mean, dock's looking a little rough, but I can fix it later, I guess. Let me just get my stuff ready so I can actually do stuff good. All right, I think I'm set up good here. So, in case you're curious what I'm gonna do, I am heading to another fortress. And there's Ob here. Uh, anyways, I am heading to another fortress. Ow. For whatever reason, I forgot to follow up on what I was saying, but basically, my goal is to get in the nether fortress, take something maybe from a chest or something, and then get out. Why, you may be asking? Well, you'll probably see in my next video. Luckily, there is, in fact, a conveniently placed pathway here. I have to get in and get out. It's that simple. So let's try and get some loot here. All right, let me just try to not die here. I don't want to get killed by stupid lava. I've had enough of lava today, personally. This is going to be insane, but hear me out. All right, I'm going to hold down a little. And... Eh. Oh wait, I actually made that. Holy crap. I did not expect that to work. Uh, let me just get up here now. Well, now it's just going to be embarrassing if I die. Alright, here we are, guys. Let's do this. Uh, if I can... Oh, come on. There's seriously nothing here. Ah! What's that? Stupid blaze. Alright, I gotta get out of here. There's gotta be some loot around here, right? Get out of here. Here. No! 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 no. Well, gotta make my way back there now. Get out of here. I am so sick of these things. All right, let's go up the conveniently placed ladder again. Blazes, oh crap. Uh, let's just be prepared. 
Alright, blaze is down. Oh crap, run, 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 run. Let's hope there's something useful here. Alright, that's just another spawner. Is there anything in this fortress? Pretty sure this is just staircase to another staircase. Okay, this is the area with loot. Finally found it. I am genuinely curious if there is a single thing in this fortress. Oh, thank god. There's a saddle and... S <laughs> this has to be the, no exaggeration, the worst fortress to ever be generated in Minecraft. There's one chest and it has a saddle and four nether warts. What the heck? This is the stupidest thing in the world. And now I'm dying of heat again. Let's just get up here. Is there anything? Of course there isn't. Why would there be? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna build across here. I'm on fire. Oh crap. Alright, bridge. And up here. To the side. Over here. Alright, I'm about to die. I gotta get something out of this. You know what? Screw it. I'll take this. Actually. No, that block's crap. Let's try something else. I'll take this piece of wood and this lantern. That, I will be on my way. Now, next question is, can I escape this place? And the answer might surprise you. Probably gonna surprise me if it's a yes, but it's also gonna be kind of sad surprising if it's a no. I just gotta get out of here. Where is the exit? This is really bad. I can't find my freaking convenient exit. Oh crap, weather skeleton. Ah, get out of here! Alright, I got rid of him. I got him. Oh no, 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 no. Eat, cool down. I think I found it, guys. I just go down here. It should be the convenient exit somewhere. Okay, found it. Go, 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 go. Eat one more time just for more health. Go, 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 go. Get some under pearls out. I'm gonna need these. Oh, come on, the stupid lava. Ah, I'm almost to the bridge. Get out of the way, buddy. I gotta get you out of here. Let's just speed this up a little. Ow, that was a bad idea. Alright, I'm almost to this part. Now, I gotta figure out how to get out of here. I know where the portal is. Ah. Alright. Let's try to get up from here if we can. Alright, I think I made it, guys. I'm dying of heat again. We made it. We're alive. Thank God. Alright, so I got the stuff I need here. Here is what I'm keeping from now on. Uh, let me just place this better. Gonna have to make, like, a treasure room for this. Well... That'll be everything. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time, I guess. Bye.